third game, Eagles Nation. Fly, Eagles, fly. There we go. On the road to victory, it's your boy, DBE86, coming at you uh, with another video. Um, all right, so Alshon Jeffrey is now out for the season, for the rest of the season, uh, with a Liz, a Liz, how do you say, a Liz Frank um, injury. Um, and from what I remember, um, that injury, you know, you, it, it's it's a long process. Um, I think Galshawn Jeffrey will be out um, quite a while, uh, probably the rest of this season and probably into next season. He might might be back midway um, next season, but I'm not sure. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, so he was placed on IR, um, and the Eagles uh, promoted. Uh, Robert Davis from the practice squad onto the active roster, and you know what? I'm so I'm I'm so excited. I, I'm so excited right now to oh um to see these young guys um, play um, first uh, or another thing too. Um, Nelson Aguilar, he's still um, I guess not sure if he's uh, gonna play. Uh, I think he's still his knee his knee. Um, is still injured. I think it's his ego that's really injured, um, but that's a, that's for another video. Um, but I, oh, I'm so excited to see these young guys. Um, I'm, I'm ready to see them fly on Sunday. I know it's really not a meet. I mean, it is a meaning meaningful game because we basically have to win every game. The rest of these four games, we have to. Well, we just beat the Giants, so the, these next three games, uh, we have to win. We have to. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're six and seven. Dallas is six and seven. We went out. We're in the playoffs, and we knocked them out of contention. Um, and we win the East. Uh, take first place in the East. So I think I know. I, I think if we win um, on Sunday, and the Cowboys lose, then of course we get first place. But um we'll we'll talk about that when that comes but i'm so excited to see these young guys just step up and it's funny um the 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 mood and the energy changed um on monday night when alshon jeffrey went out it seemed like carson wentz was more comfortable with the young guys you know he trusted these young guys because perkins was having him a you know was catching balls all over the place uh our thing white side was doing his thing um and again boston scott just came in and just wreaked havoc and i just hope we can be consistent with that you know and that's what we need we need miles sanders you know doing wheel routes or even boston scott doing more wheel, route, wheel routes um Screen plays with Boston Scott, maybe even with Miles Sanders. Um, JHI, of course, is still is still here, so um, can't really leave him out. But the main the main um, person I was focused focused on was Boston Scott because uh, once Miles Sanders went out with an injury, I think he had cramps or something, and um, Boston Scott came in. It was just like a switch went off in the team, and it's just like you can you can just feel. Um, the energy, um, you know, when Boston Scott was in the game, he just he just played like he wanted it, and that's what and, and that's what I want to get to. These young guys on Sunday or Monday night actually played like they wanted to play. You know, Jason Kelsey said, "Hungry dogs run faster," but it's like these older guys, these ones that were on the team in 2017, it's like they don't want it. It, that's what it seems like. It's like they don't want it. It's like Carson Wentz doesn't trust them, and you know it's just it's not. It, there's no chemistry. There's no basically there's no chemistry with the Super Bowl guys and Carson Wentz, if that makes sense. So you know I'm excited to see Greg Ward and Josh Perkins if he gets some time. Um, JJ I think a white side now Robert Davis. I'm excited to see these guys. Just go off, you know. And, and Carson Wentz, um, we saw Monday night also that he um, he's a lot better when he's on the run. He he's definitely not a pocket passer. 
you know, he's good in the pocket, but he's he's more effective when he's out of the pocket and he's on the run. Uh, we, he makes more plays when he's on the run. Um, he's not just stiff as a board in the pocket and taking sacks. And that's 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 I think what um, made this team successful um, in 2017. Uh, when we had our Super Bowl run was getting Carson Wentz out of the pocket. Um, so, you know, it's going to, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see what happens on Sunday. Um, and what these guys do. But from what I'm j just, just the, the vibe I'm getting that we're just going to ball out, you know, never underestimate our opponent, you know, the way we've been playing. You know, we can't really take with the Redskins lightly because they have been balling. Uh, Dwayne Haskins is a great, I wouldn't say a great quarterback. He's a good quarterback. Um, but with our secondary, you know, we can make um, a good quarterback great. So, uh, got to worry about McLaurin, of course, because he's like their main guy. Um, I can't remember their tight end's name. I'm not sure if he's playing or what, um, but we just gotta go and handle business, right? You know, these, these young guys seem more hungrier. They seem like they wanna win. You know, I know we were kinda um, in a situation where we had to get it going and everything else, but it just seems like every ball that Carson went through to these young guys was on target. They were catching the ball. They were getting separation. Like, and that's what I don't understand. Why can't the Super Bowl guys, players, do that yet these young guys um backups and third strings they're getting separation they're catching the ball they're making plays so i don't i don't know it's a I, for me this is my opinion this is my opinion i feel like it's a good thing that nelson aguilar may not be playing it's a good thing that alshon jeffrey was injured because the energy, I know, I know I'm not the only one that can tell this. The energy is so much different um, with these young guys. And it showed on Monday night, the energy after Alshon went out, the energy just picked up. The momentum just picked up. And, you know, it felt like a team again. Really, it did. It felt like, it felt like a team. So I just hope we can be consistent, you know, especially with the run game. You know, Jordan Howard is out. Um, I'm sure he'll be out for Sunday. Um, the stinger is more serious, I think, than what they're telling us. But that's another story. But we gotta, we gotta get that run game going. Um, Darius guys for the Redskins, I think he is out for the season. So you know they're gonna be trying to pound the ball with AP, and y'all know what happened last time. Um, AP uh, didn't really have a field day, but you know on that goal line and had that 97 yard touchdown. We can't let that happen. But you know if we can stop the run. That would be great if we can establish our run and be consistent with it. Then I think we can. I think we'll be. Uh, I think we'll be good. You know, our strength is our run game, and we saw Monday when we run the ball, it opens up the, the pass game. Because you can't tell me that um, the Giants' defense couldn't cover Zach Ertz wide open, couldn't cover Dallas Goddard wide open. Just, just little things like that. I know Dallas, or not Dallas, uh, Redskins are a different team. Um, and, uh, I mean, they, they have an okay defense. But just looking for these guys, our guys, um, these young guys now, to step up. You know, we, our mentality has always been next man up. And we all we got, we all we need. And Sunday, um, I think they're going to prove that. I really think they're going to prove that. Carson Wentz just seems more... Um, happier, more energized with these new guys. He actually trusts these guys, it seems like. And I'm not, uh, don't get me wrong, y'all. I'm not bashing the other players, you know, or the 2017 players, I'll, I'll put it like that, that we have. But, you know, it's just there was no chemistry there, nothing at all. And I don't know, it just, it just seems different now with these younger guys in. So I hope they can just prove me wrong because I'm excited for them. I just hope they don't let me down. And let the, let the fans down because I'm sure a lot of the fans, like I am, are really excited for these young guys to step up, uh, especially Whiteside. Really, especially uh, Thayer Whiteside and Greg Ward because they um, on Monday night, you know, they started picking it up and catching balls and catching screens and making plays here and there and getting blocks and everything else. So if we just continue to run the ball and just get Carson Wentz out of the pocket and um, just defense just has to has to get better. Our defense is, is definitely what's going to kill us. 
um, if we don't pick it up. Darby, I, I don't see him back next year. Uh, but again, that's another video because he, he is horrible. He is horrible. Him and McLeod on Monday night. Shh. Slayton on that, that last uh, touchdown he got just, just blew right by him. It's like they didn't, instead of them looking at, um, you know, doing their assignment, they're looking at the quarterback, and they got burnt. So I just hope our defense can step up. Um, but, uh, you know, as we say, when our defense is on, our offense is off. But when our offense is on, our defense is off. So... We'll see. We'll see. Um, can't really predict the future. I'm just. I'm just praying that we can. Uh, we can do good. We can do good. So I just have a good feeling that we are. You know, it's a definitely. It's again a must-win game. Uh, then we got Dallas. That's a must-win. Then we got the Giants um, in New York or Jersey, wherever their stadium is. So we have to. We have to win out. We have to win out. So I still don't. I still don't think um, anybody in the NFC deserves a playoff spot. But you know, if we get in, anything can happen. So just as long as we can um, knock the Cowboys out, you know, I'm fine with that. So I'm not tr talking trash about the Cowboys because this whole division sucks. So, but that's it for me, y'all. I'm just excited for these young guys really to just spread their wings and fly. I just feel good about it. I really feel good about it. So I wasn't going to make a video, um, but I made a video earlier and, uh, I just felt like it needed, I needed to, it needed to be said. So, um, kudos to Boston Scott on Monday night. He got my game ball. Carson Wentz did his thing. Zach Ertz with the two touchdowns in uh fourth quarter in overtime. So just looking for them to, you know, our tight ends to just keep, keep, pushing, you know, be the leaders, really, be the leaders for these young guys um, in defense, just just, just tighten up defense, really, that's all, just tighten up, so that is my time, y'all, got the Eagles, Redskins, 1 o'clock in Washington, let's get her done, let's get this win, let's get this win, uh, so we can get on to Dallas and just just shut them up, because they think they're going to win, they're, they think it's going to be, Dallas thinks it's going to be a cakewalk, but I think they have another thing coming. But, again, that's another story for another video. But that's it, y'all. I'm out of here. That's my time. Fly, Eagles, fly. Please agree when I lose. And y'all know what to do. Always make somebody smile.